when you're insulin resistant, that is, you've got metabolic syndrome, pretty much every chemical in the body is not quite right. Some are up, some are down, few are actually at physiologically normal levels. Traditionally, the focus is on the big guns, sugar, insulin, and cholesterol. In this series, we take a look at some of the other players, who they are, what they're up to, and how they're part of the state of insulin resistance. In this video, we feature irisin. Irisin is typically lower in someone with metabolic syndrome. So, who is irisin? Well, Irisin is named after the Greek goddess Iris. Now in Greek mythology, Iris was the messenger of the Olympian gods. She typically delivered bad news. In the body, Irisin is an 112 amino acid hormone derived as a product of fibronectin type 3 domain containing 5, or FNDC5 for short. Irisin is dispatched by skeletal and cardiac muscles when they're in a spot of trouble. Specifically, they've been called upon to push and pull like crazy and they're finding it tough going because they're suffering an energy crunch. The message goes forth to all and sundry, causing shifts in body chemistry, which culminate in more fuel for the fire, bringing relief to those stressed out muscles. Irisin facilitates the uptake of glucose, allowing them to keep going that tiny bit longer. So where does the fuel come from? Well, at this stage, how the message is heard is still a bit of a mystery, but among the cells that pick up the distress signal are fat cells. It sparks them to up their game, after all. Situations like this is what fat cells live for. They've spent their days squirreling away resources. Now, when the muscles call, they're ready and they pull up all the stops, switching from fat storers to fat burners. Now, to do this requires some major changes in their chemistry. Mitochondrial enzyme activity skyrockets so do the mitochondrial numbers. And fat cells with more mitochondria look and act a little different. The transformation is described as browning. These fat cells are firing on all four cylinders. And it's a good thing for muscles and for waistlines. So although irisin is Bad news for muscle, it's good news for metabolic health. Mice given irisin shots show improvements in body chemistry. Bone and muscle mass increases, and irisin has anti diabetic, anti hypertensive, and antidepressant activity. So you're probably wondering is irisin based therapy coming soon? Yeah, betcha. Lots of research groups are working on it. If you've got metabolic issues, irisin should be on your shopping list. But you don't have to wait for Big Pharma to get more irisin. You can do it yourself. So what are the things that you can do to dispatch the messenger? Well, since freaked out muscles are the source of irisin, to get more irisin, you need to get more muscle. And then you need to make the muscle you've got work hard in the moment. Multiple studies have shown irisin levels increase when you exercise hard. The increase doesn't last terribly long, but it does good things in the long run. Here are a few of the references that I've used to tell this irisin story. Know someone who is pre-diabetic or has type 2 diabetes? Share this video with them so that they can begin to look at their condition from a systems perspective and can take steps to create better body chemistry and better health. And if this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you catch future episodes of the ups and downs of insulin resistance.
thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health.